right, thanks, Matt. Well, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and when it comes to men and women, this cancer does not discriminate, especially if there's a family history. Dr. Wataparo is a colorectal surgeon on staff at Good Samaritan Medical Center, joining me for this morning's What's Going Around. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Uh, we just talked about how it doesn't really discriminate, so who's most at risk for colon cancer? Well, you know, the, the whole population, either as you said, it doesn't discriminate men or women. Basically, there will be diagnosed this year in 2020 about 150 new cancer cases in the United States. Um, it's the second leading cause of cancer death between women and men combined. So this is why it's very important. And if you are in the older age category, African American, if you have a sedentary life and you don't take enough fibers, um, if you have any history of colon cancer, and it's incredible to know that one of every three patients that even have history of colon cancer will not be screened before the age of 45. Despite having the family history. Despite so, having the family history. So what I'm getting from you is knowing the family history is really important for this one, so you can get those screenings early. I agree. So it's one in every 20 um, men or women can be diagnosed this year of colon cancer in the United States. Prevalent. Dr. Parr, let's talk about treatment. You know, what is the treatment and what's the latest in treatment? Treatment is, I think we have to focus in, in prevention. 60% will be of the cancer cases can be prevented. Okay. So that's very important. The treatment after it's diagnosed, it goes from uh, endoscopic removal, uh, surgical removal, and that's where we come in surgery, and then we add chemotherapy or radiation depending on the location of the tumor. So you talked a lot about knowing your family history. What else should we know about prevention, early screenings? You know, what questions should people be asking their doctors if, if they want to know if they are at risk for this? The basic thing is you have any symptoms. That's something if you have any uh, bloating, abdominal pain, bleeding, etc. The American Cancer Society uh, decreased the, the years. We're up to 45 and older now. We used to be at 50 because there has been an increase on younger patients so if you're 45 or older you can get screened you should get screened and there's also other screenings besides colonoscopy that can help you as well like um, there's DNA testing in stools that right now is FDA approval that you can do that as well you should talk to your primary care physician for those tests uh, do diet and exercise play a role yes um, the diet and the exercise the diet is it's is, is related to the way the bowel movements are um, are established and going through so you can get rid of the toxins so you don't not constipate it so that's the fiber part the exercise is consistent with adiposity deposit of adipose tissue that can generate different hormonal disbalance that can promote cancer cells dr part thanks for being here again march is colon cancer awareness month we're going to post this interview this segment on cbs 12.com if you need to hear this information again and and pass it along to your loved ones so thanks for being here thank you